here we go guys this is Taz uh, he's now 23 grams in weight uh, and that's without the feeding uh, last time I weighed him he was which was not so long ago a few days ago and um, today is feeding day it might be the sixth day you know it, it might be this might be the seventh I can't remember so that's kind of I'm feeding him today he wouldn't have very striking last week so this might be a good striking video Here we are. <sighs> Typical of a Sambo strike. I don't think he's grabbed by the head this time around, which he hasn't. So he's going to release it. Um, surely because of that fact. Of which I'll probably be able to get another strike. Um... The next time you see him strike it, if, you know, when he releases, next time you see him strike it, he'll, I'll get him to take it from the head. Uh, so I'll kind of offer it to him a different way. The reason I got him to strike like this was just because it shows you kind of what he's, what he can be like. Not a big snake at the moment. He's not going to get massive, but um, he's going to get a bit bigger than what he is now. Um, I'm expecting him to get around around 150 grams, possibly a little bit more for a male. The females get somewhat larger. But he'll keep his head on it for a minute. He'll pull his head out in a minute, and then that's when I'll stop the video and I'll retrieve. Because you'll you see him now. You'll see him release his head. Um, there you go, head released. As I thought. And if he moves his head out, this would be a lovely photo. Come on, move your head out, mate. You ain't going to read it like that. Pause the video. Um, basically, I uh, try to, usually nine times out of ten, I can get the mice off of him, but he's uh, constricting it a little bit too hard, and I ain't putting my hands anywhere near it. Because uh, not not that it's gonna hurt if it bites me. It's just I just want to eliminate, you know, any bites. Because if you can eliminate a bite. It's all good. And as soon as he releases his body, which he should, is when I offer it again. Sambo was a constrictors. All, all, all boas are constrictors. Um, and Sambo is no different. Um, although one of the smallest of the Sambo species. <laughs> I said that wrong. Although one of the smallest of all boa species. They're still constrictors. And they still hold on tight. And they will not let go. And they said. Dead certain that what they've got hold of ain't breathing. And he's possibly going to go back in if he could f f work where the head is. Is he going to go in for a second bash? No. Can he get the nose? No. Unconstrict your body, sweetie. 
on constrict. And I'll help you out. I'm constrict and I'll help your body out. I'll help you out then. Which is going to happen now. Oh. Oh, he's got on it again there. So I. Again, he's going to let that go. Because he ain't eating it from that. As I thought. So now I've got it out. Get to take it from the head. Here we go. Now we're on. Now we're on. Again, this is going to be a bit of a long video. Again, I know, but... Don't matter, does it? I'm expecting a coil, a twist, a turn... And all that that comes in between with this one. Here we go. Now this one's temperature is set at, you know, 32 Celsius. Um, when I measure it, it gets to about 32 and a half. And, and he feeds lovely on that. You know, he he, he does perfectly. Um, they can, as I've said in other videos, they can go up to 35 Celsius, but not exceeding that temperature. Thirty five is pretty much the top point of temperature. And personally I don't think it's necessary to go that high. Um what I would do is you know, if if they're not eating, then you know, turn it up a half degree and keep trying until they eat. And just have it on that temperature. You know, if if you do have to hit thirty five and for them to eat. You have to hit 35. Um, but um, yeah, that's. I wouldn't have it exceeding that. And his belly is turning a purpley colour, which tells me. Tells me that uh, a shed is on its way. Hmm. Always tired. Always. Quite a large priority for him, but you know, he manages it. Some might be thinking, oh, that poo coming at the bottom, that poo, will that not harm the snake? No, it won't harm the snake at all. When they digest the, you know, the prey items, they've obviously got poo within them anyway. Oh, I just, just, just got digested. 
as per normal. Uh, quarter of the way down it now. I can't really do much unless he pulls his head out. But uh, this sambo is a Dodoma. Um, I was told a told a Dodoma course, but the sports look quite pure, so I'm taking it as Dodoma. Probably going to be about a 15, 16 minute video this one. Nearly done. Nearly done, and he does. Nearly done with fuzzies, actually, for him, so... I'm probably going to have to order some more. Large pinkies, shall I say, in theory. There we have it. That's my sample if he didn't. Cheers for watching all. I'll film my putting her back. Here she goes. With a nice fat lump.
Uh, see you in a few days, Intaz. And there we have it, guys. Be a good one. See you later.